the defendant has shown pictures of what appear to be pit bull mixed dogs. That's correct. But dark in color. And so I've read your papers, and what your papers allege is that these pictures were digitally changed. That's correct. Do you have a report from Animal Control? Yes, I do. May I take a look at it? Defendant's defense is it was somebody else's dog. Well, you originally said you thought the dogs were Rottweilers, chocolate with a white stripe on their backs. Yeah, that's my fault, ma'am. I... Okay, I got it. Did you pay the ticket that you received the summons for dog running at large? The answer is either yes or no. Yes, I did. I got the proof of it right here. Just a second. I just asked you, so you paid the ticket that you were given for your dog running at large. Yes. And you also had dogs that did not have their shots, their rabies shots. They didn't at the time, not, right. not current ones. Okay, so you had a nip. Yeah, well I had, you had two. A, you had a nip. And originally, what you told the officers were that you didn't even think it had gone through. I'm not minimizing being frightened by these two dogs. Please, I don't want you to think that. I think that anyone who allows their dogs to be in a situation where they can push open a gate and get out and startle, frighten, and attack somebody is an irresponsible pet owner. So I don't want you to, but what I'm trying to do now is I believe that it was defendant's dog that nipped you and that got out, as he said, pushed the fence open and got out that day at 6.30 in the morning, not on July 4th when there were a lot of dogs running around at 6.30 in the morning. It was your dogs. But the question is one of damages. And so I've looked at the photographs and it doesn't appear from your initial conversation with the police, sir, that you felt as if you were bit and if you did, it didn't go through your genes. Well, see, what happened was on the July 4th when I called the police department when I actually got home they wanted to know the location of the, the We're incident. talking about your injury now sir. We're not yes. talking about okay. location. I've already determined that the defendant's dogs were the ones that attacked you. Okay. Let's pass that over. It All wasn't right. some other dude did it. It was his dogs that did it. Okay. Let's get to the injury. The injuries um what happened? You have a medical record? Yes, I do. I want to take a look at the medical I have record. uh, medical records for you, ma'am. Let's see. I have this. Um, I also have pictures. And here's the medical records. I've seen the pictures. Oh, okay. Okay. You still have all these dogs, sir? Yes, I do. They're great dogs, too, so. Well, they may be great dogs, but, you know, if you have dogs that are capable of causing injury to somebody, you keep them well contained in your yard. It wasn't my dogs. Just a second. Was your dogs. It wasn't. There's no question that they were your dogs, and there's no question that you leave your dogs outside at 6.30 in the no, morning. I don't, so. Just a second. The police responded to you immediately, sir. Your dogs were outside, and you said to the police, they must have pushed the gate open. If and when the police, That's what you said to them. They must have pushed the gate open. If and to say up. they must have pushed the gate open, that's what you said to the police. And when they said, we have to take your dogs in for quarantine, there was absolutely no statement by you, it wasn't my dogs. None. If it were my two dogs that the police were taking into quarantine that day, I would have said, wasn't my dogs, it was somebody else. Put your hand down. Wasn't my dogs, it was somebody else's dogs that did that. And I have dogs that would have been in the report. They weren't you taking them for quarantine. They were going to leave them at my house for quarantine. And they didn't. That was lasting one day. The next day, they were out of quarantine because it... I would have said something. If they say your dogs have to be taken into quarantine, I would have said to them, it wasn't my dogs.